Alrighty guys, so what I did is I ripped all this shit out. Ugh. Right here. Ripped all the uh, siding off, that blue crap fabric. Got rid of all that. So now I should be able to get in here and start ripping down here. So, set the camera back up and we'll see what we can get done. super cheapy. any of this stuff would be burnable in the wood stove. Could be loaded with chemicals though. Depending on uh, how they made it. Look at that. It's like this can of a tree. And like some that'd be good good fibers for fires though. But, but there's probably uh, glues and sh crap on here. Hard to say. Next I'll be taking out this framing. Hopefully the trailer doesn't collapse. I don't know what's load bearing and what isn't and you know. I do want to get rid of this pocket door though, because, uh, yeah, that's not staying. And this must be like a stink pipe. This uh, black pipe here, guys, in the corner. This looks like to be the stink pipe. The 
goes up on the roof. So we'll have to see about that. It's weird, they just stapled everything in. Down here. I get my uh, screwdriver in here, it might be golden. That's load bearing. It sure seems pretty light if it is. It's kind of just floating there. I don't think it'll collapse too badly on me though. What do you guys think? Am I in trouble with this? <laughs> it could be. Could be that I'm in over my head on this one. thing on this thing that's crazy oh I can get rid of the track I can see the screws and it must be just wheels on the bottom so I'll have to undo the track here guys and uh, get this beast out of there highly doubt I'll be reusing this guy. I don't think I'll be reusing anything in here because we're going to go full open concept and I'm full gut all the way to the frame. And then before I do anything serious for layout, I'm going to need your guys' help for layout because we want to do it once, we want to do it right. Because uh, knowing my projects here, guys, you've seen my first uh, Great Tiny House. 
I had low budget, I had no plan, and it was kind of on the fly type of deal. And uh, this time I'm gonna reach out and get your guys help. Get your opinions on all this crap. Let's see if I can pry this thing out of here. Getting there. Look how thin these walls are, dude. I can punch right through with my screwdriver. Just like so. That is cheap ass. Jim right here boys. Slice and dice.
Not as easy as that. Let's see. Nope. It's got too much bounce. But look how thin this guy's is. I can get this thing right through it. Look at that beast. I gotta bust my head through the wall here, guys. And then uh, do the Jack Nicholson trick. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Right? Break this uh... oh, yeah. Lots of lumber. I can probably burn most of this stuff though. Ooh, nail through the through the shoe. Good thing it didn't hit my foot. I got a pair of old runners on anyway, so. Now, right here, it looks like this was screwed into the frame of the trailer. So we're gonna keep this guy intact, this guy, and then I'm just gonna take out Oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing. So, this guy looks like it's uh, been screwed right into the frame of the trailer. This piece of wood. And then, this looks like it's a supporting beam of some sort. So, all I'm going to do is take the, uh, the sliding track off. And hopefully this door out of here. And then I'm going to try to get this, this thing out of here. And this thing out of here. And uh, I think we're going to be good. Let me put you guys back over here. In uh, microwave land here. I don't know if you can see very much. Let's see what I can do. Actually, let's move this microwave back. See if I can get you guys up in here okay. So, I'm going to get rid of this track right now because it's just bothering me. So, I'll be back actually once this track's taken out. To see all my live daily content, become a Patreon member. Click on the link on my YouTube channel at the Offred Tiny House. Click on support this channel. It'll take you to the Awkward Tiny House page on Patreon, or you can just Google it. Sign up and join in. Thank you.